diagrams by a laser. How can we find suitable nozzles for our lasers? Let's try to get the answer today. First, let's try to figure out several key points before finding laser nozzles. We'll take the nozzles in pictures as the example. A is the diameter of nozzles. Normally, it will divide into 28 and 32. B represents the layer types of nozzles. Left picture is single layer and right one is double layer. C shows the caliber size of nozzles. It's shown in the yellow circle position. When we are looking for nozzles, we can follow the order of ABC. Cutting head is a key component for the laser cutting machine, and there is a specified model. The model leads a deciding factor to the nozzle's diameter. Generally, we need to know the cutting head model, like the Retools BT240 is suitable for 28 nozzles. Except the diameter, laser nozzles are also divided into single and double layers. Single layer nozzles are normally used for cutting stainless steel, aluminum, brass, etc., which is usually cooperated with nitrogen gas. Double layer nozzles are generally for cutting carbon steel used with oxygen. If we use compressed air as the auxiliary gas, both single and double layer nozzles are fine, but single layer is better. We can take double layer nozzle with compressed air to catch some thin carbon steel like 1 or 2 millimeters. The nozzle caliber determines the gas flow, which affects the removal of melt and the stability of cutting. The caliber is related to mental thickness, focus length, machine power, and other factors. It needs skills and experience when we are trying to find a suitable caliber size, which is related to the parameters adjustment. And as we know for new laser cutting machines, parameters adjustment is the most important and patience required step. Attention here, there's no omnipotent parameters list we can just copy to our machines. Even it's the same configuration, the same carbon steel, probably the materials made of carbon steel will be dissimilar between yours and mine, so the nozzle calibers could be different between us. Theoretically, the thicker the plate, the larger the caliber should be. 1 kW to 3 kW for cutting 5 mm, around 1.5 caliber is okay. For cutting 1 mm mental, 1 to 1.2 caliber is fine. 1 kW for cutting 10 mm mental, probably in this 2.0 or 2.5. 3 kW for cutting 10 mm. 1.5 caliber nozzle is possible. Last week, we tested a 3000 watt laser and used 1.2 caliber size double layer nozzles. Actually, we finished a better cutting from 1 millimeter to 8 millimeter carbon steel with the 1.2 caliber size nozzle. So, actually, there's no absolute concept tell us which caliber size is suitable for the mental thickness so we can just take the parameter list for a possible range. Here we would like to share the cutting capability of 1000 watt rakers and 2000 watt rakers. But as you know, it's just for reference. You can find the air pressure and the nozzle tabs in it.
As the power of laser cutting gets higher and higher, less than 6 kW, we can follow the above steps to find suitable nozzles. More than 6 kW laser, we can apply the high-speed nozzles. The following video will tell the toys on high-speed nozzles based on our long-term experience and cutting effects. The two nozzles in the video are high speed, double layers for cutting carbon steel. They are different on the caliber phase and second layer size. We can see the caliber phase of second one is larger than the first one. It will display a stable capacitance calibration and cutting process compared with the first one. The layer size of second one is bigger than the first one, which allows a large gas flow and a higher speed. The speed of second nozzle will be around 0.05 to 0.12 faster than the first nozzle. So it's better to choose the second one from our suggestion. Thank you for joining me here today. It's kind of explanation for laser cutting nozzles. Are you looking for the laser nozzles? You can click the link below in the description. Do you have another issues or do you want to know other topics on laser machines? You can write it down in the comment. If you are a new man for laser cutting machines, you can check the video up here. It's a complete tutorial of SEPTAD software. Please subscribe me here, here, and I will see you next Tuesday here on my YouTube channel. Bye.